they're still on the IntelliPen, it will give me uh, uh, the opportunity to be able to uh, type into text, obviously, or uh, also select. The other function that it has, uh, it gives me an opportunity to have perfect shapes. So, for example, a circle or a square. So it just have kind of what we call geo recognition, an arrow, and it has a ton of different things that you can do, maybe a star, but you have that ability to be able to uh, kind of create these different shapes as well with the IntelliPen. One other thing that I'd like to show you is I think we, um, if we were doing some research, for example. So let's say, for instance, I'm in, uh, uh, I'm in school and I want to do something maybe on the eye. What I can do now is just kind of type that into text. I'm sorry, just kind of write that, annotate that out. But then when I hit menu, I can either tap that into text or what I can do is I can search this I in Google. So let's do that for an example. And what will happen is, is that now I'm going right out to my uh, Google. I want to put this in the full size image. Now what I could do here at this case is, if I had an interactive whiteboard, a starboard, you can actually just simply touch this and move it off to the page. However, we have a wireless, a tablet, we can do the same thing. All I do is simply touch and drag. So that's all I'm doing is just touching with my pen, the object, and bringing it over. Now incidentally, this is kind of interesting because this is unique to our software. Let's say, for instance, I want to create a class and I want people to um, maybe memorize this particular diagram, right? So what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit bigger. But with this guy, what I want to do is I want to move this slightly off my screen. The nice thing about Starboard software is the ability to have what we call expandable space. So what I can do is I can do a little hide and reveal here. Then what I can do is I can grab my eraser tool. Now my eraser tool, I can either pick it up here in my menu and find it there, or what I can do is using my wireless tablet, I do have a function which is the eraser function. I believe it's the F11 function, which I will just simply touch, and now I have my eraser. But watch what I can do now. If you look at the board, what I'm doing is I'm essentially customizing this object. And I'm getting rid of all of the labels, all of the names. So now what I can do in a classroom setting, I may kind of choose, remember we talked about that regular pen? So I may have that regular pen, and then what I'll do is I'll have my students come up and I'll say, I want you to label the different parts of the eye. So what I can do is I can simply you know, put the label, I have no idea what these names are, name it, and then what we can do is, remember I had that object kind of off the screen? with the expandable space, now all I need to do is either um, using my little scroll, my bar down the bottom there, now I can bring that into focus. Okay? So that's the nice thing. Now when you are done, let's say for instance I don't want to go out to the internet any longer. I just want to use this particular object. All I need to do is touch or tap it with the pen, the menu button comes up, and then I can simply scroll down and it will ask me if I want to save this as a piece of clip art. And it can, and what it will do is it will save in my gallery library, which is right over here. So just by simply touching that, I have that ability to do that.